Are we ready? I am so ready. What are we, what are we doing? Today? Let's go in here. Um, yes, well, we were about to do stuff. Well, Alexei has I been like a a terrible. Face. I hate him. Yeah. But we can't think about that now. We have people we have to beat up. Yeah. Duh. What was that thing? So. Watch Mojo. Yeah, so Watch Mojo TV does top 10 lists, which I think are biased all the time, but yet I still watch them because I'm curious. <laughs> um, so. Right. As you do. Yeah. But. They did one for top JRPG heroes, uh -huh. and our main man Yuri Roll here topped number eight, I believe. Yes. Eight or seven, one of the two. Like a number seven. What was their reasoning? For number seven? For like why you made the list? Um, they just thought that he was very compassionate, but also a complete bad a. So <laughs> yeah. Um, but then he cares about the common man too, but not afraid to get his hands dirty, so that was their yeah. reasoning for him. He's also played by, what's his name? Troy Baker. Which is always oh, nice. Yeah, Troy Baker is a great voice started. actor. Yes. I can't Absolutely. remember what else he does. He does a lot of voices. Yes. As most Stunned of them do. Off. I guess I can fight. If you stun just one of them in the link. Yeah. This is dangerous what we're doing right now. Really? <laughs> These guys are tough. Yeah, we got Raven. Jeez, Raven. Okay. You need to run away from that big group of people. Say that while we want to go You need to run away from that big group of robots. Hitting you. Don't tell me what to do. I'm blocking. I'm just, I'm just telling you that you're you're kinda of getting I'm fine. <laughs> See me, I'm fine. Look, Carol saved you. I was I was fine the whole time. I might be dying a little bit. Don't worry, Raven's a medic. Thank goodness we have him in the party again. <laughs> I know. It's it actually makes such a difference. Okay, freaking Murder! Use a melange gel. Um, so, I was looking the other day on the Steam Shop, and I was looking at the new Tales game. Okay. And it looks really good. Berseria? Yeah. Really I haven't good. looked at it at all. But. It looks good. I I saw the one for, uh, was it Dis Disteria? Disteria. It didn't look very impressive to me. It's not that great. Okay. Exelius, awesome. I Best know you want me to play it. It, honestly, like... This game is great. I think Xavier raids on the same level, probably. They were made like the same year almost. Really? No, this was made back in 2008. This one was made too. Yeah, you're right. It's a couple years ago. I don't know what I'm talking about. I don't know what it's made. Um, Vesperia came out 2012. Yeah, you this one came out in 2008. Like any of you yeah, the one we're playing. Xavier came out in 2012. Oh, okay. I thought you said Vesperia came out. No, no, no. Never mind. Yeah. So it was like four years after. Which is a long time for a sequel, but you know. Yeah, whatever. Alright, let's, uh, let's learn some abilities. I am going to use a melange gel on myself, Raven, and him. Ooh! I forgot Carol's name for a second. Ooh! Chest! <laughs> <laughs> Game mechanics. I can't destroy. Got him. <laughs> Need to run into start. chest. Right, <laughs> yes. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, dang it. Come on. Oh, yes. That's the last one of the combo. I should really take a look at GE's skills, because I feel like there should be an air combo that I can use with arts in. Yeah, it's, uh... There is. There is okay. something. Because I feel like I had it at one point, and now I don't. You probably did, and it was just a flip to your weapon. weapon. And then the once you equip the weapon, you then have the skill points. Words, words, words. Words, yes, but we should turn that on because I really yeah. need it. No. Air combo! Wait, no, that's not what I want, right? No, that's not what I want. Oh, that's nice. I mean. Right? But. We don't have enough. Maybe hey, I'm wrong. You must not. Wait, wait, oh, wait. aerial arts. There we go. I Base need arts. ten. What can we get rid of? We <laughs> can get rid of that. Ooh. We can get rid of. What is this? No, we don't need that. 
Perfect. And yeah. That looks great. Cool. Yay, now I can do more things instead Strength of being three. useless. Yes. I'll do that later. I need to... Um, so I was on Reddit, I think it was yesterday, okay. and someone had did a painting of um, the creepy pharaoh from Courage the Cowardly Dog. Oh, really? Yeah, it was really good. Like a life-like thing, and it was, oh my gosh, it was right. fantastic. I enjoyed it. Brutal thing. Return the slab. <laughs> what? I just think that's funny. There's good people out there. There's a lot of good artists that that are willing to devote their craft to really ridiculous things like that. Isn't it great? Yeah, no, I think it's an awesome thing. I think the internet has definitely, definitely brought us into a new age of art. That is more surrounded by pop culture. <laughs> and I'm fine with it. I think it's uh, hilarious. I, agree. I, like it. I know that the other people hate it, but whatever. That's their opinion. I don't care. I'll think whatever I want about art. You know, art is. It's cool because art is like completely just a thing. It basically is. So, like, even if one person says it's like dumb, like, it, it, it's it just, not. Yeah. I mean, there are consensuses on what is like better art than others by yeah. most people. But it's still, it's just a consensus is just a simple as a shared opinion, right? Um, I would even consider this game a piece of art. It is it just because it is? It's some matter of creativity that's explored into some kind of. Um, Canvas or whatever you want to call this. Yeah. Canvas being the Xbox. Yeah. Well, technically it's a bunch of cuts and burns on a disc, but you know. Yeah, but it's <laughs> art. <laughs> it's art. 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 Where it belongs. I was doing magic rats. Okay. Emo Raptor. <laughs> oh, Eon Raptor. Close. Close. Very close, sir. You learned Moonlight Blast in case you didn't know this. I don't know how to use that. But I want to be Sailor Moon! Help me! I can't. I'm trying to Raven. <laughs> Ugh. Birds. Don't like them. Don't need them. Actually, you know what? That's not true. I love birds. Ah, birds there's are some cool birds too. that I think are cool and the other ones I don't like. I like actually, hummingbirds. Um, I actually did a little bit of research on what you need to do to become a falconer, and I can't afford it. <laughs> yeah, I, I it's can. it's not just a hobby. Like it is, first of all, it's a lifestyle. Oh, like you devote totally. your life to being a falconer, and it's messy. Yeah, have you, have you ever heard of anybody who's like, oh yeah, my spare time I'm a falconer? No, it's <laughs> only the people who are like, I'm a falconer. Well, what do you on the side? I'm a falconer. <laughs> <laughs> don't don't draw too many conclusions about it. It's just a deal. <laughs> I like falcons, okay? And it's it's really hard to get a license too, especially for like birds of prey. Of course. And and the yeah. caveat between whole, like having a bird of prey too is like you do not it is not yours. You what? just possess it. Really? Like you don't own it, you just possess it. That's that's the law. You it is illegal to own a bird of prey. So like owls, eagles, you don't own it, you just have it. That's super weird. So if but it it's escapes, also like super cool. So if it escapes, then you have no claim over it. Oh uh, yeah. I'm sure you're, you're still responsible if it escapes, but like, still. It's it's not yours. That's weird. I don't like that. It's, uh, it's also pretty cool though. Like when you think of it, like, it's like, you don't own this animal, you just like, you're taking care of it. Right. Okay, how do you open up idea. that door down there? You can't. Okay. Then what are we supposed to be doing? Don't worry about it. It's fine. Okay. I forgot. <laughs> Jeez, come on, dude. After I've died plenty <laughs> today on these sessions, man, I just can't take failure anymore. <laughs> Don't worry, One more failure, way. I'm just gonna cry my Chill, bed. we go this way, relax, dude. It's fine. I had difficult things today, okay? <laughs> like what? I had to scrape mold off my wall. 
It's just gross. It was hard, okay? What is it? We're, we're going up and down, isn't it cute? Yes, let's take it out. Our strategy. Yeah. So today was a very fun day. I woke up at five in the morning. You know. Okay. Yeah. Oh, which I was gonna ask about that because I got your text at like five twenty-six. <laughs> here I am waking up at like ten o'clock in the morning, and I'm like, I was about to ask you, like, is my phone just bugging out, or and were you really up at like five a.m. in the morning? No, I was up at five in the morning. Okay. Because I texted Nathaniel here, like, hey, Saturday is no good. So we gotta do it today. Yeah, well, so no, well, I suggest we do it today. Because I think you got something going on tomorrow, right? Yeah, because I work in Friday. That's right. And anyway. I'm gonna go on a date tomorrow night. Ooh. Just kidding, man. Have a date. Oh. I'll find one, though. <laughs> I'll find one. I'm going to on a date tomorrow. <laughs> whether but I don't know who with. <laughs> I'm going on a date tomorrow, whether anyone goes with me or not. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, uh, burritos alone again. <laughs> mm, dinner with myself, I can't cancel that again. <laughs> that, is, that is seriously one of the pinnacle lines of my home. Of like, my, my, some people ask like, what are the plans for tomorrow? And my dad will just be like, dinner with myself, I can't cancel that again. <laughs> oh, man, anyway, guys. so I was up at 5 30 in the morning because I had to be at my, um, at school at, uh, 6. Okay. And then we had to leave at about 7 to drive an hour to an elementary school that we were going to do an hour performance and then an hour workshop after half an hour workshop afterwards. So basically, from 5 until... Uh... 11.30ish. We were performing, or getting ready for performing. At an elementary school, and then we had lunch at the buffet, and then I came home and went to work. Dude, buffets are never really a good idea. Have you ever realized that? Like, they sound great when you start off, and you pay the amount, and then you're like, man, I gotta eat a lot because I paid like <laughs> eight bucks to get in here or whatever. And like, you don't wanna go out and go to waste, but like, all you, what you realize is that all the food is subpar and, and the things, so you're just putting yourself with subpar food. Oh, yeah. And then by the end, you're just like full of subpar food, and you're like, why? <laughs> why did I choose this when I could have just went to a nice restaurant and ordered something like for 10 bucks and would have filled me up perfectly and been delicious? Yes. Although, we went to Golden and Growl, and it was pretty tasty. Yeah, but you're probably super hungry. Like, I don't know. Well, yes and no, because I didn't have dinner. Whoa! Okay. <laughs> I didn't have time. <laughs> Wait, last night you didn't have dinner? No, today I didn't have dinner. Oh, okay. But it's like still fine because I had a yeah. buffet. Yeah. I'll probably Should go home fine. and have macaroni and cheese. Um, it's like when I buy Hawaiian food from like on campus and they give you those massive portions. I seriously eat that over two days and I don't eat dinner <laughs> when I have it. Like I can buy my lunch or dinner so I can stuff all the Hawaiian food in my stomach. Oh, that stuff's delicious. As you do. I'm just getting started. Oh yeah, there's story too, right? <laughs> I approve. I approve. Uh, yeah, so then I worked until 5, and then I went home, and I played a video game for a little bit. Oh. And then I did some homework, I and then I came here. Yeah. In the snow, and I loved it. Oh, yeah. Also, at said elementary school performance, everything went to pot, okay? It was absolutely terrible. What? Really? Was the performance that bad? No, the performance was fine. That, that didn't happen. Just, that like, was... the setup wasn't good? So, we were, like... 10, 20 minutes late to, what? because of snow and traffic, traffic? as a result oh. of snow. I'm sorry dude, traffic so sucks up there. We didn't have a lot of time to get ready. So then, after that, we are like, okay, let's get costumes on. So I like go to get my costumes on, costume on and all of my accessories were not packed. Oh. None of them. Because... What's been happening recently is I have been like getting the van and whatever, and I'd take it, and every my my costume would be taken for me, and then they just all of a sudden decided, nope, you're responsible for your costume pieces now, and I had nothing except my tunic <laughs> <laughs> and boots and Man. like pants under. So basically, you're you were Link at the start of the game. I was basically Link. 
at the start of the game. <laughs> that was it. That's it. You didn't have anything else. You know your match. I was it. so angry. Oh my gosh. And it was it was partly my fault because I should have been more responsible with my own costume pieces. But like, holy crap, I was so mad because. Oh yeah. I didn't have time to do that. Okay. I was doing other things. <laughs> Um, so, yeah, I was really upset. And then, like, the fake blood wasn't... We didn't have it, so we had to get, like... We got food coloring from the school. Wow. Like, somebody Sheesh. asked the teachers for food coloring. They had some. Yeah, of so course they had some. <laughs> they don't have some at the school. Every teacher has to have food coloring when you're in elementary school. And it was funny, because the people who used it, they couldn't get it out very easily. <laughs> Dang. But, yeah. I'm so, sorry. it was just... Annoying, but it was still a good performance, and the kids loved it, so it worked out. Oh man, but the kids love us. <laughs> but the kids love us, so we're perfect. Oh dang it, I wasn't anywhere near that's you. A, that's a great Ghostbusters go reference. Just like, is it? Yeah. It's uh, <laughs> when they're shutting down like the apartment they all work in. Oh yeah. They're like you guys are not scientists in like the real life, but the kids love us. <laughs> 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 As you do. <laughs> um, so, I I had some, like, anger stuff going on this weekend. Yeah. Yeah. Just talking about your bad day or whatever. It wasn't necessarily a bad day. It was just like, this shouldn't have gone wrong, and it did. Right. And it well, no, like, come on. We'll, we'll give it it's okay, a little bit it of a bad, bad day. It was a bit of a bad day. Keep it. Continue. Um, but we had buffet afterwards. Right. So, okay. So, so Sunday, like, I was having, like, a pretty rough day, and I was just kind of angry for no reason. Probably because I just saw a bunch of... Because I went home for the weekend. I went from college town. I saw a bunch of couples. And it was just angry. I was just angry at myself. So I'm like... I could probably actually... Like, put some more effort into dating. And actually try for something. But I don't. <laughs> and I was just kind of angry at about everything. So like... After I was done for the day with like the rest of the stuff I had planned... I literally like walked out of my home, didn't tell my parents uh -huh. anything. I drove out into the middle of the potato fields, <laughs> and I, I just <laughs> I know, that's yeah, so funny. yeah, and then I just screamed into this blizzard that was like coming by. <laughs> I like I'm just so glad there's nobody around. Like I just seriously parked my car, like on this like country road where nobody would ever go to, and I just yelled. I felt like a total idiot. I'm like, how do people feel good after they yell at the wind or something? Like, I don't feel like good. I feel like an idiot. <laughs> I mean, it works for some people. If somebody saw me, I would look stupid. Oh, I look so dumb. Especially because, like, I don't yell a lot. So I don't have, like, a comfortable yelling voice. Right. Just gotta support it, man. Right. So I just, uh... Yeah. And then I ended up hanging out with, like, some of the people that we... Spent some time with in Pennsylvania. It was great. Oh, who'd you hang out with? I spent a day with uh, my buddy uh, Steven and uh, Don Harlos. You're gonna have to do last names, dude. Cook. Cook. Yeah. Okay. My uh, was your trainer. No, not my trainer. No, 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 no. It was uh, Christensen. Love it was your trainer. Yeah? No, Christensen. Was Whatever. Oh Christensen. yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, the short kid. <laughs> yeah. He was my zone leader for a little bit. Yeah. Well, he same thought here. I was disobedient. <laughs> same here. But, um, anyway, I'm taking you yeah, down. no, and then we just talked about, they talked about dating with me and everything, and, uh, uh, Cook was talking to me about, uh, I was just telling him, like, why I have so much trouble, like, asking people out just because I usually say really dumb stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just not very smooth. Right. Um, when I, especially yeah. when I'm nervous, too, that, that just doesn't help. Um, and then he started talking about his roommate named Matt and like his advice to people. <laughs> and <laughs> he was like, "Let me tell you, Matt is the most awkward person I've ever met, like ever. Like you never, you'll never meet somebody more awkward than Matt." Matt <laughs> um, Shepard? No. Oh, he's married already. Right. Didn't, didn't need anything. You're right. I'm sorry. So uh, I forgot. Actually. So he's like, but Matt's thing is he tries, and therefore. He, he succeeds. He succeeds. And he's like, let me tell you some of the scenario, like some of the lines that Matt has opened up with. I guess I can fight. And then proceeded to date the girl for the next two months. <laughs> the first one being, hey, do you want half of my peanut butter and jelly sandwich? I mean, it'd be kind of weird because I already bit off of it, but, you know, it's still for grabs when you want. <laughs> two months. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> and then, uh, and then he was like, another time, he was just driving down the street in his truck. And Matt sees a girl walking down the street. And he's like, 
he pulls over and like rolls up the window and he's like, Hey, would you like to come out sometime? <laughs> <laughs> two months. <laughs> he dated a girl? Yeah. Like, actually? Months. Yeah. That's so funny. Also, apparently, the girl who got with the, like, peanut butter and jelly sandwich bit, like, you would think, like, oh, she's like an average kind of girl. No. This girl was, like, incredibly, incredibly good looking. Like, a level That's on the, the scale. Best. That's and you're just like, like how? That's like a dream story. <laughs> yeah. So, and then, like, that night we decided to go do something together. Like, there's, like, a bunch of people who go on, like, do, like, singing underneath the stadium bleachers. So, we decided to go yeah. to that. Um, As you do. Which is kind of like the tunnel singing they do here. Um, and so, by the end, like, I'm just, like, talking to different people. Uh -huh. By the end, Cook brings over this girl and just, like, Hey, this is uh, this is Sarah, and I just want to introduce my two friends, Nathaniel and Jordan. And I'm like, okay, I'm like, and I just waited to like, like hear an explanation how he knew her, like, was this a friend that he knew or whatever, okay, in like class or like, and so she like walks away for a second to go do something, and he was like, yeah, she just looked at me and like, hey, I'm Steven, and then he's like, now I'm gonna go out for a bit, and I'm like, okay, whatever. <laughs> Sheesh! <laughs> I'm like, dang it, why Dude. can't I do that? <laughs> Cause you don't have awkward one-liners. <laughs> no, it's... And like... I, after my emotional little Sunday that I had, I spent like the night talking to my parents, uh -huh. and my parents were just like... Parents are good. Yeah, it was just a very good therapy session, and my dad basically just told me that I had a lot going for me, but I didn't have any confidence, and therefore I just like yeah. screwed myself over. <laughs> I'm like, thanks, Dude, Dad. Your father is right. Although you. it's been really funny because I like today. I, I think I was just like looking in like at my reflection while I was in like the I was in Walmart and I was looking at my reflection in like the glass or whatever as I was like uh -huh. checking out. I'm like. Man, I actually am pretty good looking. <laughs> <laughs> and I just I don't know, I've never Man. noticed it before. You need oh. more confidence, sir. Are you ready for some game mechanics? Yes. Alright, you see Is this it gonna block? be long and difficult? That was just tedious because I have to push this block. Ugh. This is a Minecraft, come on. <laughs> um Womp 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 Womp. I saw a comic. I broke it. Dang. This is Man, how we do it. Yeah. Take that, Alexei. <laughs> You'll never be prom king. <laughs> You'll never be uh, Hokage at this rate. Naruto is Hokage. Yes, Naruto is Hokage. But he could be the seventh or the eighth or whatever. I don't know what, what number we're at now. It'd be eight after Naruto. So. <laughs> Shoot, man, I forget. Because Kakashi Sensei is number six. Technically. <laughs> No, he is number six. Well, he was there for a little bit, yeah. No, he's no, he's literally there. What am I even thinking? I don't even know. Technically, you're supposed to be a temporary one for a while, and, and then, then he like, and then become the full one later on. Oh, uh, okay. Isn't that cool? Yeah. yeah. Woo! Kikashi. Look at that! Look at that promotion! Yeah, promotion! <laughs> yeah. yeah. He probably hated it. <laughs> yeah, he probably did. It's actually really. It's really, what's really funny is uh, I'm like the. Because they're into that like phase where it's like trying to wrap up the story and tell everybody's like the after story of how everyone's lives end up or whatever. Mm -hmm. So the little like intro for the for that part of the series has like Kakashi um, typing on a computer, and so yeah. it's like he went from the copy ninja to the copy and paste ninja. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Yeah, that's so great. <laughs> It's funny. Because There's just some really funny people out there who will never get recognition. <laughs> <laughs> and you're mostly found in the comments of YouTube. <laughs> yeah. Oh, blast it. Hey, I did it! I'm amazing. I'm actually the best at this game. No, low key. Low key. You are pretty good at this game. I'll admit it. I feel like. I'm really glad that I know that I've played this game a couple times before because. It makes it go a little bit smoother. Oh yeah. And how much time that we're using. Because holy crap, I'd have to figure <laughs> I remember the, one of the first times I played through this, I could not figure out that I was supposed to go to the freaking Then <laughs> the previous room, one of the previous rooms. We're supposed to like um, go to the top and go down the 
bridge looking thing. Sure. I couldn't find it for like an hour. Wow. I was so embarrassed. You should be. Um. Yeah, I. I've been kind of glad that all the games we've done that Wallace has at least played through one of them. Yeah. So they've gone easier. I mean, I don't think I've been ever an expert in any games we've played through. Well, yeah. I'm gonna play through. Well, I've been played through the one, and then now we're doing Resident Evil. Yeah. And I'm definitely not like I don't know where everything is or whatever, but I know enough where I can get by pretty fast. Yeah. Let's give you some of that. Then we'll give you the heels. Need more heels. Now, if we were talking about like one of the Final Fantasy games, <coughs> I would definitely need to walk through again. Like. No matter which one it is, except for nine. Nine, I could probably get you through really fast. It's which the only one, one that I know that? really well. That's the one with BB. I'm gonna go a little crazy. I've played here. through that one probably at least like four times, like which is a lot for a Final Fantasy game. Um, one game I'll never play with. I don't think I'll ever even. One times is a lot for a Final Fantasy game. For me. Yeah, I think every once, like every couple of years, I'd go back to do it. Um, but that was like older, so I've had more time to get old plenty of times. But it's just actually that one I think is just like really like replayable. Like it's not a hassle to replay. Like sometimes the stuff gets old or boring or whatever. One of the games that I think I think of when I think that is uh, Golden Sun. Yeah, I would agree. Golden Sun's a lot like very that. very like, replayable. Do you want to blast that crate on that white one first? Can't yet. It's too, it's too far over. Oh. Sorry, my 3D, uh, my 3D glasses aren't looking, uh, working too well. <laughs> dang it. Uh, am I supposed to hit it? Shoot, man, I don't know. It's, it's the blast is locked. Ugh. You need to use the blast here. Come on. I just finished talking about how I know all this stuff, and then I forget. Yeah, then you failed. Yes. That sucks. Embarrassing. I, uh... As we're yeah, talking about stuff that, like, I would say doesn't get old, or doesn't get old fast, you know, mm -hmm. like, uh, I started watching uh, Full Metal Alchemist again. The Brotherhood <gasps> I series. Like Full Metal Alchemist. Um, great. Yeah, uh, just, uh... Honestly, it is so... It has such a good pace about it. Mm -hmm. Where, like, just enough dialogue to action... And enough story to like, funny. Yeah. You know. Yeah. It's just great. I like. I yeah. I could probably say that's probably on the top of all anime right now. <laughs> it is very um, very good. The very only popular. one that comes close is uh, Blue Exorcist. I do like Blue Exorcist. Wait, you've been watching that? I watched it. Okay. A while ago. Um, well, you watched the whole thing, I'm assuming, right? Yes. Um. Like, to the end where, I guess, Rin and Yuki, like, destroy the gates or whatever. And yeah. That's not the true ending. Fight. It's not. That's the BS ending. So they started they started <laughs> up the, a, another season where it branches off where it's supposed to go, and they started that. It's really good. It's much better oh. than what they came up with. with whatever the, so they redid it? Yeah, so they're basically redoing it. I don't know what you can compare it to, where they decided to, like, Is wait, we screwed up. No. Yeah. Start you Yep. Yep. It heavily adds on pressure roll. There's um, too many now. I just paid the five dollars, so I don't have to do with that anymore. No, we're good. It is for me. <laughs> okay. I can. You can rent a movie for one day for one dollar. I can pay five dollars a month to watch unlimited whatever I want. Yeah. You talking about video? Well, I'm talking about like Red Box too. Like okay. renting a movie for one dollar a day or whatever. It's like five movies. I mean, which. Like, if we can be honest, you're gonna watch a lot more than that. Yeah, I, I I don't know, and I'm not like a movie person either. You know what I mean? Yeah. I think movies are too short to give a good story. That's why I like usually, I like usually. series better. That's just my opinion. I mean, there's like, probably people who love movies and I'm just oh, hey. offending them. Yeah, let's move stuff. Yeah. Um, also, hey, we need to we move along to it's the end of the episode. Yeah. Um, so, common question is, um, what are other some things that don't go old fast? Golden Sun. Asians. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Um, time Lords. Four Lords. Four <laughs> time Lords. Time Lords. Okay. Um, yeah, okay. Yeah, awesome. 